Released in 1967, The Graduate remains a classic film that strikes a chord with many. Directed by Mike Nichols, this coming-of-age story follows Benjamin Braddock, a recent college graduate, as he navigates the uncertainties of adulthood. The movie explores themes of love, rebellion, and societal expectations with a sharp and often humorous lens. What makes The Graduate even more intriguing are the lesser-known facts and anecdotes that surround its making. Are there any behind-the-scenes stories that captivate you? Stay tuned as we unfold funny, shocking, and even sad tidbits about this cinematic gem. As the narrative unfolds, the audience is kept on their toes with unexpected twists and relatable moments. The movie's ability to balance humor and depth makes it a timeless piece of storytelling. Now, we're curious, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic film? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching for more interesting insights and let the nostalgia flow. The Graduate is a classic film that premiered in 1967, directed by Mike Nichols. Set against the backdrop of California in the 1960s, the story revolves around Benjamin Braddock, a recent college graduate unsure about his future. He finds himself entangled in an affair with Mrs. Robinson, the seductive wife of his father's business partner. The plot takes a twist when Benjamin falls in love with Mrs. Robinson's daughter, Elaine. The film explores themes of alienation, rebellion against societal expectations, and the complexities of relationships. The narrative unfolds with humor and drama, capturing the zeitgeist of the turbulent 60s. Dustin Hoffman portrays the awkward and confused Benjamin, while Anne Bancroft delivers a compelling performance as the alluring Mrs. Robinson. Catherine Ross completes the triangle as Elaine the film's iconic moments, including Benjamin's aimless wandering and the unforgettable use of Simon and Garfunkel's music, contribute to its lasting impact. The Graduate received critical acclaim for its innovative storytelling and became a cultural touchstone. It garnered several awards, including an Academy Award for Best Director for Mike Nichols. The film's success resonated with audiences and solidified its place as a cinematic classic influencing subsequent generations of filmmakers, in summary, The Graduate is a timeless film that captures the uncertainty and rebellion of a generation. Its exploration of love, identity, and societal expectations continues to resonate, making it a must-watch in the annals of cinematic history. The casting process for Elaine's role included screen tests by Sally Field and Goldie Hawn. However, the final choice did not involve either of them. The red Italian sports car driven by the main character is a 1966 Alfa Romeo Spider 1800, also known as the Dudo. Benjamin uses this car throughout the movie. In a scene where Elaine finds Benjamin in his room and he startles her, other tenants gather behind the landlord. Richard Dreyfuss, in one of his earliest film roles, suggests getting the cops in response to the commotion. Catherine Ross effortlessly portrayed Elaine's character in The Graduate, seamlessly blending her personal wardrobe with the campus scenes, a decision supported by director Mike Nichols. Nichols, known for prioritizing authenticity, believed that whatever Ross brought to the shoots perfectly embodied Elaine. Ava Gardner, seeking the role of Mrs. Robinson, expressed her interest to Nichols. However, Nichols, favoring a younger portrayal, visited Gardner, but did not seriously consider her for the role. Gardner's attempt to negotiate, laced with movie star cliches, left an amusing anecdote in Nichols' recollection. Screenwriting credits for The Graduate involve an interesting backstory. Calder Willingham and Buck Henry share the credits, but Henry wrote the shooting version independently, unaware of Willingham's draft. Willingham successfully challenged for credit post-production, given the adaptation challenges and shared lines from Charles Webb's novel. In the dynamic creation of The Graduate, director Mike Nichols, alongside the cast and crew, navigated through wardrobe choices, casting considerations, and screenplay challenges. These behind-the-scenes glimpses add layers to the film's narrative, providing a unique perspective on its making. In his second film, the 1967 movie The Graduate, director Mike Nichols initially aimed for French actress Jean Moreau to portray Mrs. Robinson. Nichols envisioned exploring the French cultural dynamic where older women guide younger men in sexual matters. However, producers Joseph E. Levine and Lawrence Terman opposed this idea. 
In a compromise, Nichols agreed to change the actress for Mrs. Robinson on the condition that he could still incorporate Simon and Garfunkel's integrated soundtrack, a choice he was adamant about from the beginning. Coming from a stage background, Nichols, in meticulous preparation, had the entire cast, including Dustin Hoffman, learn and rehearse all their lines in advance. Hoffman, reflecting on the 40th anniversary edition DVD commentary, noted that the cast was so well prepared that they could have taken the show on the road, showcasing Nichols' dedication to precision in filmmaking. During the auditions, Hoffman initially felt mismatched for the role of Benjamin, given the character's description in the source novel. Nichols, undeterred, saw beyond the surface. Despite disparities like height and background, Nichols, in his characteristic style, acknowledged Hoffman's Jewish identity and suggested that perhaps Benjamin was Jewish inside. This insight, shared during a screen test, secured Hoffman the role. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on Nichols' unconventional casting choices, meticulous preparation, and ability to see beyond traditional character descriptions, contributing to the unique narrative of The Graduate. The film's integrated soundtrack, a compromise for the casting change, also became a defining element, enhancing the overall viewing experience. In a well-known promotional still, Dustin Hoffman appears with Mrs. Robinson's distinctive leg. Contrary to popular belief, the leg belongs to Linda Gray, an unknown model at the time, later recognized for her role as Sue Ellen in the 1980s TV show Dallas. The photograph, capturing a pivotal moment, became an enduring part of the film's visual identity. Burt Ward had to decline the role of Benjamin Braddock due to his commitment to Batman, as the studio, 20th Century Fox, was unwilling to lend him. This decision led to the casting of Dustin Hoffman, who ultimately defined the character with his unique interpretation. Anne Bancroft, portraying Mrs. Robinson resonated with Mike Nichols' depiction of the character as someone grappling with self-regret for forsaking her true identity in pursuit of wealth and security. During the scene where Mrs. Robinson and Ben discuss art in a hotel room, Bancroft, despite forgetting Nichols' initial revelation about the character, successfully conveyed the essence of anger and remorse. Nichols considered this portrayal crucial, emphasizing the theme of sacrificing genuine experiences for the illusion of a fulfilling life. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer insights into the casting choices and character development, adding layers to the narrative of the film. During the production of The Graduate, the cast, including Dustin Hoffman, was not shown any dailies. Hoffman, unfamiliar with film work, saw himself on screen for the first time at an early screening in Southern California, marking his initial exposure to the finished film. Dustin Hoffman faced challenges adapting from stage to screen acting. Director Mike Nichols urged him to redo scenes with less action. Hoffman, adjusting to Nichols' minimalist approach, found it suited his character perfectly, contributing to his compelling performance. The potential involvement of Doris Day as Mrs. Robinson is subject to conflicting accounts. One version suggests the property was acquired with her in mind, but her manager and husband, Martin Melcher, dismissed the idea outright. Day herself stated in her 1975 memoir that she was offered the role but declined due to discomfort with the age difference and intimate scenes. In summary, the graduates cast, unaware of their on-screen performances during production, faced unique challenges. Dustin Hoffman's transition from stage to film was guided by Mike Nichols' minimalist direction. The casting considerations for Mrs. Robinson, including the uncertain involvement of Doris Day, add intriguing layers to the film's background.